Yo, Mike, what's that? Oh, you know, just bringing my kid back to his house. Pretty big guy, huh? Yeah. Another day in the life at Tarzana. We gotta get our laps in. Some cardio. Pretty big boy, huh? Fitness. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You gonna come out? Come on. Come down. Come on. Come down. Let's see if I can walk them up my leg. Come on. I was, uh, I was the limbo champion when I was in school. Go back in the cage. Don't you bite me. It's a Cape Bandit Whitethroat Monitor. It's an African species of lizard. It? Its cousin is the Varanus albigular, albigularis, is the black throat monitor. This is the Cape Bandit Whitethroat. Pretty sick kid, huh? That's another feeding day over there. That's a carnivorous species of lizard. Now you have a frugivore, it's an animal that only eats fruit, primarily fruit. And you have a carnivore. A carnivore is an animal that primarily eats meat. You have an omnivore. They eat plants and meat at the same time. Different, you know, wide variety of fruit and vegetables and meat. Then you have your uh, herbivore, they only eat plants. You look in there closely, you can see his head. He sees me now. So I want to see if I can dangle that rat right in there without. Let me get him out. He smells it. Oh, he's up now. He's up. He's moving. He's coming out now. I'm get him out. Get him out of his coils. Now you see the difference in the animal's feeding behavior. This guy came up, gradually grabbed it versus the aggression of this guy. This guy didn't even coil it yet. You know what I'm saying? So it's literally, it's still in his mouth. Give him some wiggles. Give him some wiggles. 
same exact thing. Squeezing that bad boy up. If you look closely, he's got the wrap by the mouth right there. I'm gonna let it go. Well, give it some more wiggles. And see, guys, I, oh man, he squeezes, literally, he's squeezing so tight, he squeezed the guts out. Now, the reason why this rat's guts just came out, this is called an olive python. Now, these guys live by rock crevices. They live up in trees as well as two. But when they come down by the water, they actually hunt young subadult crocodiles in Australia. Pretty sick. Now, these guys' coils are no joke. This is gonna be your, uh, I think your second largest species of snake in Australia uh, behind your scrub python. These guys get about 12, 13 feet long and they're no joke. Sick animal. Now, if you also look that rainbowish tint you see, it's called an iridescence. They get that when it hits the sun the right way. And my hand's turning purple up here because he's squeezing my hand as well too. I'm gonna put him back. You can eat in peace. You hungry? You want to eat? Did you eat your food yet today? Did you get your breakfast, lunch, and almost dinner yet? Tater did. <laughs> hey, buddy. If you look down there, got a black headed python. See how. Hungry he is. Want a rat? Mm. You smell it? You want that thing? Ooh, there he goes. There he goes. Come on. Come out. What it looks like when a snake grabs his food up. He grabs it and he squeezes it. He squeezes it and squeezes it. Now, if this thing was alive, it'd be taking breaths. Now, when it takes those breaths, every time it exhales and inhales, it's gonna squeeze tighter and the lung capacity won't be able to expand, enabling, enabling you to breathe. So it's called asphyxiation. It's not, they don't suffocate you, they asphyxiate you. Pretty sick, huh? Now those coils just squeeze and 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 squeeze until there's no more breath left. Pretty neat, huh? Do your meal, buddy. Don't try that at home, kids. You might lose a finger. We won't lose your finger, but you'll get bit. I've been doing this a long time, so don't don't follow Uncle Tarzan. Ah!